Today we're making something awesome. We'll start by designing these custom Shogun Warrior playing cards. Then, why not use them to make this epic card flourish animation? Let's get straight into it. Open Canva and create a new design. Playing cards are usually designed in a 3 by 2 aspect ratio. So let's create a custom size design at 750 by 1050 pixels. Now let's start with the background. Open the Photos tab and search for Watercolor Paper White Background. Select this one and enlarge it to match the size of the canvas. With the image selected, open the border style panel and give it a 3 pixel border weight. Then, in the corner rounding section, set the border radius to 35. Open the Elements tab and search for Floral Corners. Select this one and place it in the bottom left corner of the canvas. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge the element 20 pixels up and then 20 pixels to the right. Resize it to 300 pixels squared. Press Ctrl D to make a duplicate, then flip it horizontally and rotate it by 90 degrees. Place it in the top right corner and repeat the nudging process so both corners are identically positioned. Next, press T on your keyboard to bring up the text tool and type out the letter for the card in question. In this case, it's K for King. Change the font to something that fits the theme of your design. I have chosen the Zekul Qing K Huang Yu font to keep with the Shogun theme. Set the font size to 125 pixels. Then open the Elements tab and search for Poker Playing Cards Club Suit icon. Search for the two-tone one and place it on the canvas. Click See All under the Magic Recommendations. Link to access similar icons for later. Click on the icon, and as you can see, we can alter the coloring of the two sections. Select one side and change it to a color of your choice. Position the icon directly below the letter and group them by pressing Ctrl G. Align the group to the top of the canvas, then resize it so it aligns with the bottom of the top corner layer and align it to the edge of the bottom corner layer. Duplicate the group, rotate it by 180 degrees, and repeat the same alignment process in the bottom corner. Now, let's create a signature shape for the background of the card. Press C on your keyboard to create a circle shape. Give it a 4 pixel border and change the border color to the primary color you picked earlier. Set the center color to no color. Next, press L on your keyboard to create a line shape. Change the border weight to 6 pixels. Update the color and create a duplicate positioned directly below it. Select both lines and rotate them by 18 degrees. Then, select all shapes and group them together. Now, it's time to generate our Shogun characters with AI. Open the Apps section and search for the Magic Media app. Under the Styles section, scroll to the bottom and select the Paper Cut style. Change the aspect ratio to Portrait, and now we are ready to enter a prompt. Something like, design a King of Club Shogun ruler with a majestic beard, wearing ornate samurai armor and a helmet. He holds a katana or war fan, standing confidently, symbolizing authority and military strength. Black and gold clothing should generate some interesting results. As usual, you may need to repeat the generation process if you don't initially find your desired character. When you find one you like, add it to the canvas. With the image selected, choose the background remover tool. As you can see, some elements of the image may become lost in the background, so let's fix that. With the image selected, open the edit panel and select the shadows effect. Select the drop shadow style, and to keep things subtle, set the angle to 50, the distance to 20, and the intensity to 25. Now repeat this process for all of the character cards in the deck. I'll leave some example prompts in the description for you to experiment with. Here are the characters I made earlier. Next, let's create a seamless pattern for the front side of the card. Open the app section and search for the patterned AI app. As you can see, the app has a similar interface to the Magic Media app. Select the tribal style. 
The prompt should be something like, create a seamless pattern with Shogun-inspired elements, including samurai helmets, katana swords, and stylized waves, black and gold color. You can sign up to get 20 free credits, which should be more than enough. When you generate one you like, adjust the zoom setting, then create a new page and select Add as Background. Now, let's take a second to appreciate how awesome this tool is. Set the corner rounding to 35. Change the border weight to 15 and change the border color to white. Once you are happy with all card designs, go ahead and export all of them as PNG files with a transparent background. Now let's move on to creating an animated card flourish. Create a new design in a 16 by 9 video crop. First, let's add a textured video background. Open the video library and search for grunge paper texture background. Select this one and place it on the edge of the canvas so it snaps into the background position. Open the Elements tab and search for Playing Card Ornate. Place a few of the elements around the edges of the canvas. Update the colors and reduce the transparency so they blend into the background. Next, let's import four of the playing cards and stack them on top of each other like so. Decrease the page duration to four seconds, then duplicate it. Reposition and increase the card size. Then rotate the top card by 40 degrees. Rotate the second card to 20 degrees. Leave the next card at zero and rotate the fourth card by minus 20 degrees, creating a 20 degree rotation between each card. Now align each inside corner to the top center of the preceding card. Once you complete this for all cards, rotate the entire stack to be more centered. Next, duplicate the page, rotate all cards back to zero degrees, then resize and align them like so. Add the cover card to the very left. With all cards selected, open the position tab and select the horizontal distribute tool. Place a match and move transition between all pages with a one second duration. On the first page, select all layers and in the animation panel, give them a rise animation, making sure on enter is selected. Go to the last page, right click on the cover card and select show timing. Have it appear just after the transition finishes and give it a tumble animation. Now let's preview what we have so far. Nice. Let's add some sound design to spruce things up. Open the audio tab, filter for sound effects, and search for Card Shuffle 6. Place it near the start of the timeline so it matches up with the opening animation. Next, search for Riffle. As you can hear, this sample includes various sounds of card shuffling. Find a section you like to accommodate the card flourish section. Finally, search for Carpet Clean Rub 2 and place it at the next transition. Now let's quickly jump into Udio and prompt it to make a fitting Shogun-inspired hip-hop track. I'll leave a copy in the description. Place the track on the timeline and let's preview the finished product.